Hello and welcome to Narrowboat Lane. Um, I haven't posted anything in the last couple of weeks because we've not been doing anything and I didn't want to bore you just prattling on about nonsense. So I thought I'd give you a couple of well-deserved weeks off. Um, we're heavily getting into Project Stove now as winter's round the corner. So bear with me and I'll show you what we've been up to. Yeah, right then, so we're getting into the beginning of October and my thoughts have very quickly turned into the long winter months. Um, it was very cold last winter. Um, we moved aboard, we bought our boat and moved aboard this time last year um, and then proceeded to have a very, what felt like a very long winter. Um, I believe it was still sm snowing uh, late March last year, beginning of April. Um, we managed to get through heating wise last year just using gas. Uh, the gas central heating that we've got, the system that we've got. Um, it's not the cheapest way of doing it. Um, yeah, it cost a hell of a lot of money. So we, we, we decided this year that we'd try a different option. Now, that obviously means our stove, as we never had one fitted. The stove was always an interesting conversation between Mags and I because I knew it was going to be, well, I thought it was going to be a hell of a lot of work to get it done. Um, and that was the, th the thought of that was enough to put me off it and so I said that we'd just absorb the cost and we'd do it on gas um, do winter on gas again um, but then I managed to find myself a second hand stove um, and that got the ball rolling and we decided to fit it um, let me show you what we've been doing so this is the stove we bought. It's a Mizuno Rocky. It's a six kilowatt, um, which we think is going to be ample for our needs because in our boat, we have very small space to heat, really, because it's not um, a boat with like the corridor all the way down the side to the back of the boat. It's only really got to take care of this space because Mags and I, in of a night time when we go to bed we, we don't like it dead hot we struggle so we prefer it cooler so having a cold like a, a colder that end of the boat really isn't an issue for us and we have other things like infrared heating and also um an oil filled electric radiator as well so if things do get a bit too tasty one night we can always throw that on for 20 minutes just to take the chill off but yeah so this is the stove that i was looking at buying brand new um, you can get them, I found them on a website called Great Fires, gr8fires.co.uk I think it is. Um, that's not an advert for them, I didn't buy it through them, um, I managed to get this second hand. Um, but they're about £189 brand new, um, and then obviously your flu and stuff on top of that. Um, I found this one on eBay, it's exactly the model and everything that I was after, and I managed to get it for 100 quid. So, you know, I've saved myself pretty much half price there. It's only been fired a few times and it's in really good nick. Let me show you. So, the rope and that will probably need replacing at some point. I might just do that as a matter of um, good practice before we before we spark it for the first time. Um, a friend of mine who knows a little bit more about stoves than I do says it's not brilliant and it won't last us 20 years. But to be fair, I don't really care. If it lasts us four or five, that's good enough for me. Um, the reason why we've placed it where it is, if I get up off my backside and show you, ideally what I wanted is I wanted it on that corner. I wanted it on a diagonal half across and then facing out diagonally into the boat. I couldn't do that because I'm a bit paranoid about the BSC regulations and they state that you have to have a certain amount of space between everything. If it was in that corner, it would have been too close to the steps. So... I've put it this way and now the orientation of it is that it's pointing directly across the boat so if it had a bigger boat and it had like um to, to heat all the way down to the stern then yes I could see that being a problem but with us just heating the living room 
I don't think it's really going to be an issue. Plus, I'm going to have the um, the stove fan as well, so that'll help blow it about a bit. Um, yeah, hearth-wise, what I'd done was really, really simple. Um, they are 450 by 450 slabs. They're the wrong size. I should have got bigger. So what I will be doing is getting 600 by 600 um, because, as you can see, the feet are right on the edge. And although it's, it, the thing weighs a ton, it, it really does. It must be about 75 kilos, I think. Um, so it's not exactly going to just fall over in a breeze, but you do want to secure it. And the BSC regulations stipulate that the hearth has to be attached to the boat and then the fire has to be attached to the hearth. So there's certain ways around it. But what I'm effectively going to do is fit some L-shaped brackets on the inside of the legs. That They'll get drilled and attached to the slab. And then the slab will be sitting inside a wooden um, surround. And that will be attached to the floor. So it won't be going anywhere. This is this is just basically the, the stove first fix. Um for the back of the hearth, what I've done behind here is a um, some lengths of two by one battening, um, two one metre verticals by 50 centimetre horizontals. Um, attached to that is a cement board um, sealed. And then on the top of that, we found these beautiful tiles. I love them. Uh, they were six quid each from a local tile wholesaler. Um, and what's good about this is there's no that you can put them up there's no grout line so there's no danger of any heat escaping through i have put a little bit of tile adhesive on the on the join line just to make sure it's okay but um yeah so next week it's buying the flu and then i'm going to go straight up and out obviously those pictures are going to get moved straight up and out um and then it's the collar and the chimney but i'm i'm pretty pretty confident that i'm going to be able to um get that sorted so i'm going to i'm going to film that and show you how um show you how i get on the flu i think is going to cost me about 50 quid i, I need one and a half meters it's going to be about 50 quid um and then we get into the area of um buying boat stuff which also you know, always puts a, a zero on the end of everything <coughs> excuse me so the collar you're looking at about 55 quid and the chimney well you know it can go to silly money but I'm, I'm i'm probably looking at about 50 quid so the flu and the, the, the sorry the collar and the chimney probably going to cost me 100 quid flu about 50 quid um by all means if anybody's got any suggestions where i can get flu from for cheaper um brilliant give me a shout um also with the collar and the chimney um would be good i want a double skin chimney because i'm told that helps cut down on the tar leaking out the chimney out you know down the side of the boat i, I really don't like that um that the, the horrible marks that are left you see down the side of some boats but i'll be going to clean it regularly so hopefully that'll keep that down so yeah that's the that's the stove project well underway hopefully that'll be finished in the next week or two the next thing we've done i done is when we bought this dinette um it came with a table that sits on legs that go into these little sockets um the tabletop itself weighed a ton and it was a nightmare just keep pulling it out and setting it up every time we were having the meals or whatever else so i decided to get a couple of these little folding tv tables there's two of them they're a tenner each um and that obviously left us with um a table that was surplus to requirements obviously this was on the the bottom side and then you've got some legs let me show you one there's one um and they fit in there and then the table goes on top but um rather than just waste it what i done was i cut it up and i've created some nice solid steps because before we had this horrible i don't know what it is but it's about five mil thick brittle horrible stuff um and i just think that looks nice out obviously what i've still got to do is countersink the screws and fill that and then perhaps restain it or do whatever else um i've got to get a new jigsaw because mine broke um so i can round these edges off and then sand it down uh perhaps a bit of cork and then these will get painted white and then i think the contrast of the white and the and the stained wood will look quite nice so that's that yeah so we, you know, we are doing little bits and bobs. We're not getting too carried away. Uh, money's been a bit of an issue. Um, 
and work obviously so you know you're always uh, always got something to do so it's easy to just put the jobs on hold especially when it starts getting a bit colder you just want to come home after a hard day have a hot shower have your dinner you know and just get ready for bed pretty much um so the weekends are, is my uh, work time on the boat so yeah so next week it's i'm going to get the flu the following week it will be the chimney and the collar uh and then maybe the week after that will be doing the fitting and, and getting it all up and ready and, and getting it fired i can't wait to get that first fire going uh, so hopefully we'll be sitting in here in in just our shorts and string vests um right yeah so quick note to my subscribers thank you for sticking with me like i say i know it's been a bit uh, of a barren period these last couple of weeks but uh i didn't want to just post up rubbish videos prattling on about nothing i'd rather prattle on about something um thanks to my new subscribers we're rolling we're growing steadily always always nice to see um yeah so i'm going to leave you in peace what do you think of this storm i hope it's not creating any problems for any of you um yeah so oh that's the point the um the thing that the the, the cups that the table sat on and also the cups on the floor and the legs they're no good to me now and as you know um i'm a big believer in not spending a fortune on your boat you don't have to so if anybody wants to put me a little cheeky bid on on them, they can. In fact, if you if you want to come and pick them up, you can have them because they're no good to me. Um, yeah. So keep in touch, guys. Comment below, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next week once I've got the flu. Don't forget, if you know where to get some, give me a shout. Five inch on each. Cheers, guys. See you soon.